Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this rational expression that involves a bunch of radicals, as you can see over here. So we are going to simplify this thing and we will not be using calculators of any kind. So here's our problem. Square root of 6 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus 3 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 6 plus square root of 3 minus 4 times square root of 3 divided by square root of 6 plus square root of 2. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can do. As we can see that it's not easy to find their least common denominator because all these denominators are distinct. So we are going to manipulate this problem by just looking at this second and third term. So let's look at this very first fraction. We are going to just leave it as it is. I'm going to just write down square root of 6 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus let's focus on this second fraction over here. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and uh, tweak this one. Let's focus on this uh, 3. So 3 could be written as square root of 3 times square root of 3. And likewise in the denominator this square root of 6 could be written as square root of 3 times 2. And 3 times 2 could be we can break it down square root of 3 times square root of 2. So therefore we can write our this fraction as 3 could be written as square root of 3 times square root of 3 and then times square root of 2 on the numerator divided by this square root of 6 could be written as square root of 3 times square root of 2 and then plus this square root of 3. And now in the denominator we can see that square root of 3 over here and square root of 3 over here is in common. So I can write this one on the numerator. This everything is going to be same. Square root of 3, square root of 3 times square root of 2. And at the denominator I can factor out this square root of 3. And this is going to give us square root of 2 plus 2. 1 and here we can see that this uh, square root of 3 and square root of 3 is gone. So in the numerator we ended up with square root of 3 times square root of 2 that is same as writing square root of 6 divided by this is square root of 2 and then plus uh, 1. So therefore this second fraction I can replace by this simplified form which is square root of 6 divided by square root of 2 and then plus 1 and minus and now let's focus on this next fraction and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and manipulate this one this on the top this uh, 4 could be written as 2 times then I can write 2 and then a square root of 3 in the numerator divided by in the denominators square root of 6 could be written as square root of 2 times square root of 3 and then plus square root of 2. And now let's focus on this 2. 2 could be written as square root of 2 times square root of 2. So our this fraction at the numerator could be written as square root of 2 times square root of 2 and then 2 times square root of 3. Now in the denominator we can see that this square root of 2 and this square root of 2 they are in common so I can factor them out. So let's go ahead and factor out square root of 2 and we ended up with the square root of 3 and then plus 1 inside parentheses and now we can see this square root of 2 and this square root of 2 is 
gone so at the top at the numerator we got uh, this uh, square root of 2 and then this square root of 2 is going to become square root of 6 so 2 is going to be outside times square root of 6 divided by square root of 3 plus 1 so therefore this fraction could be replaced by this simplified form 2 times square root of 6 divided by square root of 3 and then plus 1 and now we can see that in the numerators this square root of 6 square root of 6 and this square root of 6 they are in common so I can factor that one out so let's go ahead and factor out this square root of 6 outside and inside bracket we have this fraction 1 divided by square root of 3 and then plus square root of 2 and then plus 1 over square root of 2 and then plus 1 and then minus 2 divided by square root of 3 and then plus 1 and here's our next step let's focus on these denominators all three of them we can see that each of them has a radical in the denominator so we must rationalize these denominators to make sure that we no longer have a radical at the denominator and now let's focus on this very first fraction and here I have copied it down and now we are going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate the conjugate of this denominator is going to be this square root of 3 minus square root of 2 just uh, switching this sign changing this sign to negative now let's go ahead and multiply and divide by its conjugate square root of 3 minus uh, square root of 2 divided by square root of 3 minus uh, square root 2 let's go ahead and multiply these numerators and these denominators as well and we can see that uh, this numerator one times this thing is going to be square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and now we are going to multiply these denominators by using this well-known formula so this would be written as square root of 3 and then square minus uh, square root of 2 and then square so let's go ahead and simplify the numerator we're gonna leave it as it is divided by the square and square root is gone so we got 3 minus uh, this square root square root is gone minus 2 so therefore we can see that this has been simplified to square root of 3 minus uh, square root of 2 so let's go ahead and write down outside this one square root of 6 times inside this parentheses this first fraction has been simplified to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and then plus and now let's focus on this next fraction and here I have copied it down now let's go ahead and rationalize its denominator by multiplying and dividing by this conjugate square root of 2 minus 1 so let's go ahead and multiply by square root of 2 and then minus 1 and divided by square root of 2 minus 1 as well let's go ahead and multiply these numerators and the denominators as well and here we can see that our numerator is going to be a 1 times a square root of 2 minus 1 is same and let's multiply these denominators by using this well-known formula so our denominator could be written as square root of 2 and then square minus 1 square and now we can see that this has been simplified to square root of 2 minus 1 so let's go ahead and replace this second fraction by this simplified form which is square root of 2 and then minus 1 and then I'm going to put down this minus and now let's focus on this next fraction and here I have copied it down 
And now let's go ahead and rationalize its denominator by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate, square root of 3 minus 1. Let's go ahead and multiply and divide by its conjugate. So let's go ahead and multiply these numerators and denominators as well. And here you can see I put down these numerator 2 times square root of 3 minus 1. Let's go ahead and multiply these denominators by using this well-known formula. So this would be written as square root of 3 and then square minus 1 square. Now we can see that this has simplified to 2 times square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. And here 2 and 2 cancels out. So it just simplified to square root of 3 minus 1. So let's go ahead and replace this uh, fraction by this simplified form. I'm going to put down in parentheses square root of 3 and then minus 1 and this bracket closed. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and take care of this thing. We're going to distribute this negative sign. So let's go ahead and write down square root of 6 outside and in this bracket square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and then plus square root of 2 and then minus 1. Once we open up this parenthesis this is going to become minus square root of 3 and this negative and negative is going to become positive. 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify this square root of 3 and this negative square root of 3 is gone. This negative square root of 2 and this positive square root of 2 is gone. Negative 1 and positive 1 is gone as well. So we ended up inside this bracket with just a 0 and 0 times square root of 6 is going to be 0 and that is our answer. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be zero. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.